Hello my brewing pals. Got something slightly different for you this week uh, because um, I'm going to do some wine. Um, first time I've done wine um, and this is kind of my first uh, brewing video uh, for wine I guess if you like. I drink wine obviously but my girlfriend loves wine and she said oh I'll never drink any wine if you make it so hey we'll see if you do. <laughs> anyway you're probably going to lose my head because I can't put the camera back wide enough to uh, to get it but you'll see what I mean in a minute. Right what have we got down here? Can you see that stuff? Hey got an FB with some water in. Um, we got a kit obviously with various different, this one's, um, I don't know if you can see that, Solomon Grundy kit, yeah, over in the UK they're pretty good, um, it's got lots of little things in it like these kind of things, little packets of all sorts of stuff, yeast I recognise, nutrient I recognise, citric acid, what the hell, I don't know, anyway I'm going to follow what it says, um, you might also be wondering why I've got a pint glass, or just under a pint glass, filled with um, murky fluid. Well, guess what? That's staff sand, um, and it said um, fill it up or mark on the um, the FV, the bottle in this case, um, the demijohn, where um, four and a half liters is. So what I did was I just filled it up to the top, poured off a pint, roughly half a liter. So I know where um, four and a half liters is. Nice little tip for you from Jono. Right, let's get cracking then. Do -do -do. Got some brewing sugar here, and um, hopefully, if I cut it right, it should nicely go in here. Oh, look at that, skills. Pouring the, uh, the sugar in there. I'm not gonna use the whole, the whole bag, because it's a kilo. And although I like my strong brews, that make this wine far too strong. So I'm going to put about three, roughly three quarters of the bag in. Um, and we'll see where we get to. Eh? I'm aiming for about sort of 12 and a half, 13 percent wine, roughly. There's no point in making eight or nine percent wine. You know, I can make cider stronger than that. So what, what, what's the point? Okay, bubbling away. Done about half the bag so far. Do, do, do. I should have put some music on, really. Anyway, never mind. Coming up to about two thirds. I can stop anywhere now, really. But I'm going to put a bit more in. Keep going, keep going. Should have weighed it out really, but you know me, I'm a lazy brewer, so uh, I'm going to stop there. Whoop. How are we done? Uh, huh, maybe a little bit more, I think. Yeah, let's have another go. Definitely at two thirds this time. There we go. How's that? That's looking. Pretty damn good to me. So I'm going to put this on the side. Don't worry guys, I'll clean up later. So how are we going to get all of that? Can you see? Loads of it. I could shake it. And some of it will uh, get absorbed. Best thing you can do... Oh, by the way, I had cold water in there. Best thing you can do, apparently, is add some hot water. So, this isn't exactly boiling. It boiled about two or three minutes ago. So hopefully, how are we doing? Whoa, without cracking the uh, cracking the FV, which would be bad. Just trying to get the temperature of the water up a little bit. Just so the, um, it doesn't really matter if it sits on the bottom too much. But I'm not sure if wine yeast is, um, is top or bottom, to be honest. Put a bit more in. Raise up the temperature a little bit more. See if I can, instead of pouring it down the side, I can pour it into the into the middle. Okay. 
last thing I want to do is, is make this thing crack, you know what I mean? Okay, that's pretty good. What I can do now, little trick for you, is, whoop, I've got a rubber bung here, just a normal rubber bung, not got a hole in it. I'm gonna put that in the top, and now I'm gonna shake it like a bastard. This works. Mix it all up. Problem is, you gotta let the gas out every so often. Give it another bit of a shake. Shaking that up now. Whoa. How are we doing now? I reckon we've got a lot of that mixed up now. So, I'm going to go on to the next stage, which is adding the actual wine stuff. And look at that. That's all it is. Tiny little packet. Absolutely minute packet. Handily enough, I'm using my uh, my leftover star sound to sterilise everything, so that's quite handy. Let's pour this in and see what happens. So what have we got? We've got sugar in and we've got uh, grape concentrate in. Okay, look at that. It's really changed it. Guess what? As you can see, it's red, but I'm not doing a red wine. I'm going to be doing a um, rosé wine. I've got some uh, water left over, so try and get all of this goodness out. Don't really want to put hot water in there, because it'll hurt my hands, and it'll probably melt the thing as well, so cold will do. And there you go, for all you brewers out there. Yeah, looking pretty clear now, so that's good. Let's get rid of this. Okie dokie. What do we need to do now? Well, that's not quite enough. So I'm going to top this up with water um, up to the little mark I, uh, I put on the side, which is just above here, about there. How are we doing? A tiny bit higher than that. About there. There we go. Perfecto. You still with me? Hehe. <laughs> okay. Guess what? I have a pre-made, um, pre-made bubbler here, and it's been sitting in the star sand. So I know for a fact that that is uh, nicely sterile. What I might do is put this back on give it another shake just to get all that juice all mixed up. I think I've seen Craig and some of the other guys doing this. Let's have a look. Yeah. Give it a good old shake. I've got to do plenty of shaking on this later on but we'll see that in another video. Okay. Nicely shaken up. Cool. Next thing we've got to do is add some things like yeast and stuff like that. We've got this, um, what's called acid regulator, which is citric acid, a little packet. I'm not sure exactly what that does, but um, we're going to chuck that in. Gonna put all that goodness in there. A bit crunchy inside, I'm not sure what's might be some solid lumps. I'm gonna try and get the majority of this stuff in there. Yep. Oh yeah, there's a little chunky bit in there. Nice. Get rid of that thing. You know what? I feel like Jamie Oliver doing all this kind of rubbish. Amazing. What shall I do next? How about use yeast nutrient? It doesn't help if you have a look. If I turn them that way, you can't read what any of them say. It's only when I turn them that way round that you can start reading what they are. So we'll go for uh, a nutrient. 
try and get a little bit more off this time because that was a bit of an epic. There we go. That's the way to do it. Get all that goodness in there. And finally, go for the old wine yeast. I'm not exactly sure what kind of wine yeast it is. Um, unfortunately, these kits are very vague most of the time. They're trying to keep secrets as opposed to, oh, maybe their competitors will steal their. Uh, Still the yeast or whatever. To be honest, most of them are, you know, very similar. Oh, come on, open, open sesame. There we go. That looks familiar. Um, I could have done a starter for those of you that you like your yeast starters, but in the instructions it didn't say that. It said just chuck it straight in. So I'm going to go with the instructions and see what happens. Maybe if I try and do this again. You never know. Maybe I'll do, do it the old, uh, the old brewing way. Get my bung again. And the last thing it said was give it a good old shake. Mix everything up. Make sure the sugar meets the yeast. You might get some action here, so it's a good idea. One of the things on the instructions said don't necessarily use a, a glass fermenter. Don't use a demi. Oh, hey, sod them. <laughs> That's what I've done anyway. Apparently, if you use um, a, uh, a plastic one, obviously it can't explode. Whereas the last ones, the pe pressure can build up and it can explode. Yeah, it's not. It's not that pressurised. Oh, getting my exercise today, aren't I? <laughs> Shaking all this stuff. I don't even know if I have to shake it vigorously, but hey. Look at that, that looks lovely already. Okie dokie. Take the top off. Replace it oh, with this. Replace it with the bubbler. And that's ready to rock. Whee. Hopefully that will start in another hour or so, a couple of hours. Um, maybe even tomorrow. Yeah. And we'll see... Uh, Oop, can you see me? Oh, there we go. Oh, almost. <laughs> there we go. Hey, we'll see what we get. But um, this is Jono's first wine video. Um, hope you liked it. There will be a part two because uh, there's various other different things I have to do to this wine before it's ready. Um, and I'll post those on my channel. <laughs> anyway, guys, take care and I'll see you. See you in part two. <laughs>